name is Lindsay Limbaugh. I teach over here at Soul for Rock and I teach second grade. This is my first year here and I absolutely love it. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about what exactly heart words are and they're words that we want to start saying are um, learned as heart words because we want to try to steer away from memorization and the tricky words because we want to be able to learn these words by heart and know them by heart as you are learning the um, unusual correspondence between the letter sound in the word. We have the word was here and as students are learning to spell these simple you know words um, it can be kind of confusing for them because whenever they're spelling it they, they might want to say um, they might want to spell the the letters was with a W U Z because it sounds like it would use those letters what us but actually we want to steer them to the way of learning um, the correct way it's spelled and this is what we use to be called heart words because we teach them was the what what sounds like a W and it is a W but as is actually spelled with an AS instead of a UZ. So we wanna be able to use these to be known as heart words for them to be able to remember and know that there are gonna be some words that, are, that may seem simple, but they actually have really irregular sound um, spellings. Okay, another word that I have is the word from, which is another high frequency used word. So we have from, which sounds like fr um, which a lot of students might mis misspell that by putting the U in there, when actually they need to know that when spelling the word from, it's actually with an O. And so that's why I have the heart around it so they can be able to learn that by heart. Okay, and so something else that I wanted to touch on with this word is that the letter O in it, we want to steer children from memorizing the entire word, that F-R-N, we don't really need them to, to memorize that specific, uh, those specific letters. So the only part of memorization that they need is from the O in this word from, which is why we want to call it the heart word. Okay. If you have any more questions about these heart words and why we want to call them heart words or why we use these in the classroom and, and how we steer away from the memorization of the entire word, just reach out to your teacher and he or she will have several good things to say about it.